Hi, everybody. Uh, here we're talking about properties of exponents. And uh, there's four things you need to know about exponents that will get you through like 90% of everything you ever have to do. And this is short and sweet. Um, the four things are multiply, divide, uh, negative exponents, parentheses. If you can do those four things, you've got this. Um, so first of all, if you have uh, x to the fourth uh, over x to the second, uh, if you divide exponents, you subtract the exponents top to bottom. So 4 minus 2 makes 2. If you have y to the ninth over y to the third, and you're dividing exponents, you subtract 9 minus 3, and you get y to the 6. Uh, if you have division, you subtract. If you have multiplication, you add. So x to the fifth times x to the fourth makes x to the ninth. I just keep the x, add the exponents together. Uh, if you have x to the seventh times x to the uh, uh, third, that makes x to the tenth, add the exponents together. Um, in order to do these things, you have to have the same base, x and x, y and y. Um, if you have them together, it's fine. Uh, so if you had like, say, x to the fourth uh, times y to the fifth over y to the second and x, you would just deal with the x's together, then the y's together. So uh, because that's just an x, we understand that it has a one there. I'm just gonna put a little understood one x to the fourth over x to the one is just x to the three. Um, y to the fifth over y to the two is gonna be y to the three because five minus two makes three and four minus one makes three. So uh, two things down, two to go. We did multiply, we did divide. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about are negative exponents. Um, if you have x to the negative three power, what a negative exponent means is you either need to take it from the top of the fraction to the bottom or the bottom to the top. Uh, so put that over a one, an understood one. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring this guy downstairs. And you're going to make this one over x cubed. Notice I lose the negative after I move it. It's like I used up the negative. Uh, if I had one over y to the negative four, that would come upstairs like that. So that would be y to the 4, you could think of that as over 1. <clears throat> so we've covered three out of the four things. Uh, if you multiply uh, things with exponents, you add the exponents. If you divide, you subtract the exponents. If there's a negative exponent, then you bring that downstairs if, if it's on top, or you bring it upstairs if it's started on bottom, and you lose the negative. Last thing are parentheses. Say we have 3 x squared y to the fifth, and this is squared. <clears throat> um, if, you, uh, if you do this, uh, the, uh, the square applies to everything. It applies to the three, it applies to the x squared, it applies to the y to the fifth, and imagine that three has an understood exponent of one. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna multiply this times the one, this times the two, and this times the 10. Um, three to the two, times x to the fourth, times y to the tenth. Uh, one times two is two, two times two is four, five times two is 10, and that is now gonna be, the three squared is a nine, so that's nine x to the fourth, y to the 10. Let's try another one. Uh, say we do uh, five x to the third and z to the fifth, the, the uh, the, the letter doesn't matter. Um, and say I do this all to the negative two power, okay? Just like before, the negative means that you're gonna take whatever has a negative exponent and bring it downstairs. So this is gonna, for now, be uh, one over five x to the three e to the fifth. And that's just gonna have a square on it now. That's kind of the intermediate step. And now we can take the two, multiply it times the power of one, times the power of three, the power of five, and we'll get one over five squared, two times one is two, and then two times three is x to the six, and then two times five is z to the 10th. And we're almost done. I'm just gonna take that five squared 
and write it as a 25 x to the 6, v to the 10th. There you go. Um, those are the four rules of exponents. Multiply, divide, uh, negative exponents, parentheses. Like I said, if you can do those four things, you're probably about set for exponents. You can do most of anything that's going to come across. Bye-bye.